Okay, this is a super quick video on the cordless angle grinder from Ferrix. It is a 40 volt battery system. It's compatible with the active energy system, which is 20 stroke 40. I bought this in Aldi's uh, oh, quite a while ago now. This was the last one there. On the actual ticket on the thing, it was, um, I think it said 8 99 when I took it to the till, it was charged six pounds. I can't find the receipt anywhere. So oh, <laughs> it cost me a quid more for the actual grinder than it did for the discs, which is ridiculous in some ways. That's a bit of a... Oh. How come I've got a box that opens this way? Come on, Jesus. Whoa. Now this doesn't come with, this doesn't come with this battery. What you get in the box is the cordless grinder. You've got a, a shield. You've got a handle. Oh, scared the life out of me. And you've got the actual grinder. I'll be honest with you, there's some weight in it. Straight off the bat, you can feel the weight. Put that there for now. So, like I said, I didn't, it hasn't got a battery, but I've got an actual battery that fits in this. You get the instruction book, uh, safety, and etc. On the handles, you've got obviously the off on, you've got to push it down to switch it on. Oh, it stays on. All right. Well, that can be a bit weird if it stays on. I would have thought you needed to keep your thumb on it to use it. Because if you, you had an accident or something, no, you fell. She's gone. Come on, for fuck's sake. A few moments later. A few inches later. Two hours later. One eternity later. Okay, sorry about that. Um, cameras. That camera card was full. What I did is I forgot to uh, format it before starting this. Head up my ass most of the time. Okay, so let's start this again. This is what you get in the box. You'll get the handle, you get the guard, obviously the thing like the actual unit itself. On the front, you've got you've got a place to put. Depends which way you want it. You can put the the hand support on that side, so it looks like that. Or you can put it on that side. Or you can put it on the top, so you can do it from that way if you want to do it. There's several ways you you can um, put the hand support on, or you can use it without. Now, like I said, it doesn't come with a battery. It's a 40 volt max. It's got a three year warranty. Okay, so anyway, to put a disc, I bought some discs. In the shop these are not solid this these are the uh, flat disc set these are mainly if you want to like clean rust off metal or get through some wood in a, in a hurry you know like take the face off a of wood and things like that say you want to do a door or something like that and these are disc resin fused fiberglass reinforced and in the pack these packs were 4 99 and you get a pack of five, a pack of four and uh, you get i'll tell you what you get and now you'll get and which would be one let's have a look there's the wood one and these three are for the steel so i'm not sure what's happened there well that's a crappy one isn't it look at that 
you see that there this if you're recording are you taping yes i hope so yeah that's a bit of a crappy one so you got these three for the steel uh, aluminium and taking the surface destiny this one is for the wood it says on here it is for where's it gone uh, steel, aluminium, and wood. So this will do everything. This is a bit of a multi one. These are not for basically grinding. You couldn't really grind through much of this. You know what I mean? So a flat disc set they are. So anyway, to put the disc on, let's have a look. Put the wood one on. Little slot on that. And. so if you if you turn that it'll lock it so you can tighten it up and you've got the little screw that the little tool there I can give it a little lock it little bit of a tighten there so then the battery and I've got this battery from the other drills and that's it so we turn it on you haven't got the jolt you would with a with an electric one so I'll be honest it doesn't sound that good I don't know if I'd use this in a in a heavy environment if you are if you want to take down the metal off a gate or something like that but i don't know if i'd use this all the time what i'll probably do is um take that out first what i'll probably do is um do a small video on seeing how it how it how it works kind of thing that's what i'll probably do See if it's any good at what it says it does. Right, put that back on there. Right. So what I might do, because it doesn't sound that great, to be honest with you. I'm a bit disappointed in it. Can anyone who's got one of these let me know if it sounds very similar to the one I've got I'm a bit I don't know maybe it doesn't maybe it's costing one of these flat discs it doesn't sound that powerful you know when you get a normal grinder it's like poof you got to hold your hand back and all that so what I might do is actually take it outside okay this is uh, just a quick test to see what it sounds like outside the shed and see if it's any good that what it says it says it does so this is just a piece of uh, an old uh, unit or something i want to see if it'll take you back down to this with the wood so here we go Take that back. Now that, I did a good job. Look at that, I don't know if you can see that. What's that the fell then? But if you look at this, it took that down to nothing. Let's do this side now. Wow, 
I've got to admit, <coughs> dust everywhere, but that did a good job of that. What's it like on metal? Well, this, I don't know if you can see this now. This is just an old angle um, hook for flowers and stuff like that. But let's see what it does. I don't know if you'll see this. Turn it on. As you can see, that made that light work as well, to be fair. So there you go, there's just a, quote, a, sh a short demo. There's the old side there. There's the new side. And it was, that was a piece of wood it did. So yeah, to be fair, it works well. I was a bit, maybe it was just, I was underwhelmed about what it was doing but for small jobs ideal if you want to strip down an old gate that's going to make light work of it look at that so if you've got an old wooden gate you want to strip down get some of these some old metal gate if you want to strip down ideal i wouldn't say you could use it for professional work but as a handy grinder in the shed it's ideal. So, if you've stayed till after the video, first impressions sometimes are not what it's meant to, made out to be. I mean, I when I first turned it on then, I admit, I thought, oh, this doesn't sound that great, you know what I mean? I still don't like the idea of that. But what can you do? It did a good job. For what you needed to do, something light work, Ideal if you want to cut tiles with it, I suppose you know, like thin kitchen tiles, or you want to use the flap discs to um, take stuff off metal and stuff like that. Ideal. I mean, I can't complain really, can I? For six quid, I've looked lately, I haven't seen them in Aldi's. Um, yeah, it'll go on my shelf, and I'm always, I'm always looking for something to grind off grind off the top of a nail or or to clean a piece of wood this is the one so this is the FedEx 40 volt max grinder bargain until the next time take care